Honorable Chair and colleagues, my deepest condolences to the families of the 140 people that have died in Manipur. This violence has led to displacement of tens of thousands of people, and I think that the Indian authorities must take action. There cannot be no more victims. Access to humanitarian aid and impartial observers to the area must be allowed. We should all be worried about the worsening human rights situation in India. Freedom of press has narrowed. Journalists and activists have been arrested for false reasons. Discrimination and hate have increased. And this is also what I saw personally when I visited India in December. This saddens me as India is a very important partner for us. EU and India have to make human rights and democracy a fundamental part of their partnership in all regards, including trade. The situation in Manipur needs all of us to commit to open, transparent and accountable ways to address conflict peacefully. The goal must be to end this violence and to bring about a peaceful resolution for the situation in Manipur and for India to truly address all the root causes that are hard are in the heart of these conflicts. I thank you, my colleagues, for cooperating on this, and I send my deepest condolences to those who are suffering because of the human rights situation and the violence. Thank you. <coughs>